Former ISU women's basketball great Belkis Abdul, former Indiana State Lady Sycamore Belkis Abdul, Lady Tigers guard Belkis Abdul Kadir. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Belkis Abdul Kadir. I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts, which is the birthplace of basketball. so happen to be a basketball player. Mm -hmm. um, I am the first Muslim woman to play covered at the Division I collegiate level. Mostly known for being um, the hijabi hooper or the Muslim girl that hoops. Um, and so yeah, that's, that's pretty much who I am. All of my brothers and sisters pretty much played basketball, so it was kind of innate for me to pick up the ball. My parents bought me my first plastic hoop when I was like, three or four years old, and um, I just watched my brothers play, and I wanted to do exactly what they did. I wouldn't say early on it was my intention to, to combat Islamophobia. Like, when I, when I first started wearing hijab, I was a freshman in high school. Um, I really wasn't expecting to be, like, this huge standout. I was a good player, but I didn't think that being a Muslim girl who plays basketball was gonna just take off and um, turn into just something huge. It's definitely a place where you can, I can break that barrier down because when I stepped on the floor in front of all these fans, people would, one, look at me like I was crazy, and then once they seen that I could play, those stares and all of those blank looks kind of turned into questions after the game, you know? And at that point I realized like, man, Allah has put me in this position to really, sh to give da'wah, you know? Because then I'm able to explain one why I'm covered and then of course you have to lead into Islam as a whole. So um, I started to see like, man, this could be something beautiful. And it is now, and really just sport, like, Sport is so universal, it speaks so many different languages. So if I were to bring a basketball to another country and walk on a court and it be, I'm in Spain and they speak no English and, I, and, I, and I'm there, that ball will speak for us. You know, you bounce that ball to the next person and we're automatically connected. I would say early on, um, basketball was something that I always identified with. Um, just a basketball player is really a lifestyle that you live. Um, a lot of people, well, if you have a passion, you understand how it kind of takes over your life in a way. And um, a lot of the things, a lot of the values and morals and uh, structure that I learned from basketball transferred over into it in my Islam growing up early. Um, you know, as a Muslim, born, being born a Muslim, you don't really understand the religion. You don't really understand why you're doing it. Um, you just do it because your parents, you know, you see your parents doing it, this is what you're, you're taught. So everything kind of, kind of comes mechanical. I would say that um, I truly felt Islam for the first time three years ago when I found out I couldn't play basketball anymore. For the first time in her playing career, Bilkis Abdul Qadir has hit a roadblock. Basketball's governing body, FIBA, has a rule that bans players from wearing equipment that may cause injury to others, including headwear, hair accessories, and jewelry. As a Muslim who plays basketball, as a Muslim woman who plays basketball, my right is to be able to walk on every court and play. If I'm good enough to play, for, for me, that would be my right. Mm -hmm. um, and to not be discriminated against. And ultimately, that's what this rule that was in place by this European League did. Now to the world of women's basketball. The International Basketball Federation has once again delayed making a decision on one of its thorniest issues, women wearing religious clothing. The Federation has been under pressure for a number of years to change its rule that states players, quote, shall not wear equipment that may cause injury to other players. That includes hijabs and turbans, amongst other things. Right there, it was a freedom, really freedom of religion that I, was going up against. What I, what I feel I'm fighting for every day that I walk out on the court, whether or not I know I'm fighting for something, is to be accepted in all spaces. And um, I really want my goal for the work I do is for Muslim girls, regardless of the sport, to walk on a playing field and to be um, accepted, that's it.